Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, you're welcome to Friday, the fourth day of August 2023. Our topic today on the seeds of destiny is the necessity of the inner sight. The Bible says, And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lot was separated from him, Lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. Genesis 13, 14 to 15. Thought for the day, what is not a reality in your mind can never be a possibility in your life. Our father in the Lord, Bishop David Oyedepo, once told a story about an experience he had at the Benin airport. He said that they were at the Benin airport uh, in the city of Benin, Edo State, Nigeria, to take a flight after a program. At that time, the church winner's chapel had no aircraft yet. And at the airport at that time, there was a man who had a private aircraft. God's servant now sent someone to tell the man that he should give them a lift to Lagos before their own aircraft would arrive. That was not begging because he knew that theirs would certainly arrive. On another occasion, God's servant said that they were in the School of Aviation Technology in Zaria, in Kaduna State, and they needed to go somewhere else. So they went to where the aircraft were parked in the school's premises and told the people, give us one of your aircrafts. We need to go somewhere now. He made this demand because he knew that theirs was surely coming, to, was surely going to come, and it came. The lesson here is that those who see great results see them twice. Those who see miracle supplies and abundance see them twice, first in the mind and then in the physical. That is, they first see it with the eyes of the mind and then they see it with the physical eyes. The truth is, many of us struggle to see it physically for the first time. That is why it delays in coming. What you do not see coming may never come. Your perception is connected to your possession. What is not a reality in your mind can never be a possibility in your life. You cannot think like a grasshopper and fly like an eagle. What crosses your mind determines what crosses your life. You need a billionaire's mentality to become one. Beloved, do not think like a pauper and do not behave like one. Think and behave like you lack nothing and very soon you will lack nothing. Remember this, what is not a reality in your mind can never be a possibility in your life. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, ask God to plant his vision in your mind. Number two, study and meditate on God's word always and see the pictures out of the scriptures that you will feature in in your future. Praise the Lord. And number three, make demands on God to crystallize the mental picture of the scripture into tangible realities in your life in Jesus name. Let's pray. Say, Lord, I receive the grace and the discipline to both study and meditate on your word. Help me to consistently form mental pictures out of scriptures. Oh Lord, in Jesus name, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I'd like to pray with you today. Before you can talk about picture and featuring it and all that, you need to have a relationship with Jesus. You need to be born again. And you want to do that today, simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for washing away my sins when I ask. I have come today to ask you to forgive me my sins and to wash away my sins. Become the Lord of my life. Make me a new creature. From today I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. And I want to wish you a happy birthday. It's your special day today. God bless you and cause his face to shine on you. I wish you a very happy birthday. Help from above. In Jesus name. God bless you. 
Hallelujah. I pray for you today prophetically and I say that may God cause you to see as he sees. May he open your eyes to see what he sees in Jesus' name. I came across a very interesting fact and, you know, it was really hard for me to believe. The fact that sharks do not have bones. They have cartilages and all that, but they don't have actual bones. Yes, the same shark that can bite and tear things to pieces in the waters do not have bones. God bless you.